Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see various techniques to bypass the firewall and IDS using Nmap. So, what is a firewall and IDS? IDS stands for Intrusion Detection System, which is one of the preventive measure softwares which is installed onto any server, which detects if there is any malicious or harmful attack or a pattern which is not a regular pattern if happening. In case there is an attack or someone is trying to scan the ports or any particular set of IPs, then IDS and firewall may tend to block those particular users based on some rules. They may block the IP address as well as the MAC address. But in this video, we are going to see how you can bypass both firewall and IDS on to an, any web server. So the first scan that we are going to see is Nmap cloak scan with decoys. This is one of the amazing scan that I really like, wherein you can spoof your IP address and trick the victim to think if the scan is coming from somewhere else. The syntax is very simple. You just have to type nmap target IP followed by hyphen D, which is, which is the decoy IP that you want to show the victim from where the request is coming from. So decoy scan will make you anonymous and use some other IP address to scan the target network. In the practical, for example, we are going to use Google's IP address to scan the victim. The victim will think that the request is coming from Google server, but instead we will be scanning the target. Generally, the IP address of these types of search engines are not blocked in any of the firewall or servers, and we can utilize this type of cloak scan with decoys to bypass the firewalls and IDS. So it is the practical time, and let's see how you can use this particular decoy scan to bypass the firewall. So as you can see here, first, we are going to write a IP tables firewall rule in which we are going to write that for any request log the prefix that is attacker and map. This means basically if we get any particular request, a TCP request onto our target server, then there should be a log created in the syslog file with a prefix called as attacker and map. Very simple. We are just doing this to see the logs. Okay. So let me just type this over here and we have created a firewall rule, which will show for any TCP request, the logs with a prefix attacker and map. This is the command that we are going to use. Remember, this is our target IP address and this is the IP address that we are going to use to scan the target. This IP address is Google server's IP address. So I will keep this ready over here. And this is the path where you can see the logs into a Linux machine, which is var log syslog. I'm going to use the tail command to see the logs of that particular file. I will just copy this into a new terminal and I'm going to grep this particular IP. So I will just grep this, which means if any request comes to this particular target server into the system log with this particular specific IP, I will filter that IP from the all the system logs request. So we are going to run this and you can see I have run this particular scan. Let's see over here. So I did not hit enter. Now I'm going to hit enter to grep this particular IP from the system log files. So I'm going to run this scan again. I will run this and you can see in the logs we are able to successfully see. Okay, we are able to see that attacker and map IP one particular request came with a source address. What is the source address? The source address is the Google IP's address, which we used as a decoy. 
what is the destination address destination address is the server's own ip address which we are scanning what is the protocol the protocol is tcp as you can see over here all right so we are able to perform a scan staying anonymous by telling the particular server that the request is being generated from google's server's ip this way you can scan any particular target staying anonymous and without even revealing your ip address i hope you guys understood how you can perform this particular scan by using any decoy ip that you want in this case i have used google's ip you can also use any other ip into your same network to trick the victim in thinking that another person is scanning that particular victim from your network i hope you guys understood this thank you